This is incredible. Researchers have built synthetic neurons that behave like ours. They respond to dopamine. This could interface with our own neurons. It can interface with living tissue. Or it could build a robot with a nervous system that functions just like ours. We'll talk about it. In the last few years, researchers have been trying to make functional synthetic neurons. This can heal spinal damage, it could reconnect neurons, and allows them to have a chance to communicate with each other so they can grow. When researchers are creating synthetic neurons to interface with our own, they have to be able to give the correct electrical output, and that needs to be controlled under biological conditions. They created insulated graphene nanofiber tubules that can create electrical output just from the same concentration gradient that our very own nervous system uses. We don't really have a computer that's sending out electrical impulses to get it just right. I mean, we kind of do in our brains. It doesn't always do a very good job. It also has to be able to act as a memristor. So it needs to remember the voltage that travels along it, which graphene nanofibers can accomplish. For our brains, when you have electricity traveling through your neurons, they have to remember the signal. It gets strengthened when that signal is found more often, and that's just what these can do. They were able to interface the synthetic neurons with cardiomyocytes, so heart tissue. You could imagine that this technology could result in a synthetic heart, one that can be printed just for you. Now there is one part of it that is biological. They borrowed microtubules from bacteria, Geobacter. This allows them to have very thin tubes that are actually flexible, which a body does need to be. They also lined it with graphene and had insulation on the outside. Now there is one major component that needs to be the next step, and that's having something that's capable of healing. If you're just going to put it inside of a person and you're expecting for their anatomy to compensate, then yeah, it could be a piece of hardware. But if it's going to be standalone, if it's going to make up the nervous system of a robot, it will need to heal itself. And there's been a lot of research towards self-healing polymers. Little nanobots that can lock themselves together or notice when there's damage. But the really cool thing about that is there's no reason that it can't be done. This research is being done in polymer sciences. Imagine an artificial nervous system for a robot that's sculpted into an entire brain. And that is what this technology is ultimately working towards. That's why brain organoids are used as an alternative to traditional computation because they use less power. So do these. A synthetic brain organoid is not outside of the question. And if a synthetic brain organoid isn't out of the question, then a synthetic brain isn't either. This could really be our path towards truly intelligent machines. This isn't just borrowing from nature. This is plagiarizing nature, which you'll always hear me say, I think it's the best way to go about it. Nature had millions of years to evolve our systems. Billions, in fact. Why not borrow from what already works through trial and error? Because we don't have to reinvent the wheel. This is really exciting technology for a wide variety of reasons. Yes, artificial limbs, organs, perhaps, but also creating life, consciousness. This could get us there. It's just the start. And it is just the start. Technology is improving faster than any time in history. I believe that it'll improve faster now. It did take nature a while to figure out getting from a neuron to getting to a whole brain. If this may be unethical, I'm not really sure anymore. Either way, I will be here to bring you more science news on the bleeding edge. Also, if you want resources, if you want any of the materials used in the videos, they're always directly linked in the description. If you cannot access them because of a paywall, let me know there are ways.